In tonight's Female Focus, we focus on one of the most common operations that women face, a hysterectomy. Last year, 70,000 of them were performed with a distant cousin of R2-D2, the Da Vinci robot. Here at Riverside Hospital, a growing number of women are opting for this high-tech tool. Being a loan officer and a commission loan officer, you know, your livelihood depends on being on the job. When Nancy Garibrandt was told that she needed a hysterectomy after two years of pain and excessive bleeding, she was concerned about missing work. And the title company and the realtors. So her doctor recommended using a robot. I said, what? <laughs> Riverside doctor Uma Ananth gets that reaction a lot. I don't want a robot to me do surgery on me. They want me to do the surgery, and I have to convince them that, yes, I am the person that's performing the surgery. The Department of Health and Human Services says by age 60, one out of three women will have a hysterectomy. Increasingly, those operations are done with the help of a robot. Dr. Ananth sits across the room, works the controls of a giant machine. It performs her actions with flexible instruments while she has a real-time 3D view inside the patient. It's not the robot that's doing the surgery. It is the surgeon that is using the robotic control. She operates through four tiny slits and when she's finished, patients need just four to five days to recover, not eight long weeks like traditional surgery. Pain is so much less. Blood loss is less and scar is much less. They actually had me moving around and up out of bed that day of the surgery. And of course, I was anxious to go home because I was feeling fine the next day. Healing fast and back to work, just like Nancy wanted. That was pretty awesome. Really is awesome, isn't it? Riverside has just started doing robotic hysterectomies. Other local hospitals also use robots for hysterectomies, prostate, and even heart surgeries. The doc predicts that increasingly robots will be used for general surgeries, too. It is the future, Jerry.